traders, this is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. Today is Monday, August 20th, 2012. The market opened up this morning here at 1413.25, represented by this white dotted line. You'll notice that price action really continued to stay within our opening price range. We tend not to trade until we get a little bit of a break out of that range to the downside. We did have an opportunity here um, with a narrow Globex range of only six points. I figured we didn't have much more range to the downside. Uh, a lot of uncertainty, a lot more of the same that we've seen over the last couple of weeks of, of low volume and low range. So in the meantime, we had up to get short. Just took a total of five ticks on this trade with two contracts. Bottomed out here a little bit. Didn't really see any further action to the downside. Kind of a risky trade working our way in towards the, um, the opening range. Took six ticks on that and then uh, got kind of scared out of this trade with some of the other market internal indicators got us out at, we entered the trade, got in, filled, and then took no profit. So we lost uh, two on the commission there. Went into the no trade zone from 11.30 till 1.15 Eastern Standard Time. And then you'll see we, we worked our way back into the opening range. Had a little bit of a breakout to the upside, thought we may have some follow through. Then you'll notice that we did kind of, well, on a higher time frame chart, we had an inverted head and shoulders. We knew we were gonna have a target up here around 1416. So we had one final shot, just a total of four ticks with one contract here into the end. So again, uh, we had a total range of 6.75, kind of modeling the Globex range, and uh, that's it for the day. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups, or to get a copy of the TraderShark trading manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you, and I'll see you in the Shark Den in the morning.